All right, I'm on hole number 10 of the Silver State Tournament. I'm in the opening round of the rookie division. Let's go back to hole number 10. Oh, this is hole number one of the Milano. Hole number one of the Milano. All right, I am. I, I made it from the sand last time. I got a call right at the thing, so I don't even see what the trajectory of the stuff was. But I'm using a big topper, and I'm using a... And hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on. All right, I went back and watched that video just to see what was going on. I still have no idea. <laughs> I'm going to use a big tapa. I'm going to use a Titan, the king of balls. Here we go. Let's just get out there and get on and get it. Let's get on the freaking fairway. I think I've only been on the fairway once all week. I've been in the sand. I made half the sand shots. But it all boils down to when you're in the sand, you gotta hit it perfect. If you hit it perfect, it's in the hole. You don't hit it perfect, not in the hole. If you're in the rough, hit it perfect, it's in the hole. A two six. All right, let's just go for it. Straightforward, max overpower. Hit it great to the left. And I've been in it up a little bit to the right, so I'm not too, uh, that's not that bad. Would have been nicer if I'd have been a little bit to the right. <laughs> but that will work, maybe. Get in the hole. I was wondering if you use a bigger power ball and you try and hit out into this area. So if you're using a five power ball and you try and hit over there and you try and do a bunch of curl, you might be able to bring it in from the other side. But you put those trees in, in play and those trees are definitely hazardous. My opponent's got a decent shot from out here. I mean, you got a nice shot from out here. The problem is, is that this shot is extremely difficult. I mean, it always seems like it's just a straightforward shot, but it doesn't play like a straightforward shot. Okay, we're about to I'm go right on the edge of the cup. Need to hit it perfect. And hit it great to the left. And it went great to the left. Shut my mouth. Hit that perfect in the hole. Don't hit it perfect, not in the hole. That's how it works. Me personally, though, I had a better shot of getting that in the hole than I would if I was hitting from over here. This is one of the original holes in the Milano. It's been around since the game started. And this is not a high percentage chip in. Like you line it all up, you make great wind adjustments and you hit it perfect. It's just, you can, there's just so much movement on the course coming from that direction. And there is an adjustment that you need to make for wind, depending on which way the wind's blowing. It's going to be, it's going to be different. So that's a tough angle to come at it. It just seems like from over there that you got the straight end, your short iron, just the straight end shot, but it's not, you know, if you take hole number eight is an example you get in the right spot you line it up right you hit it perfect it goes in the hole here it's not the case that's why for me it's always worth trying to go at it from the right the reward is is that you can get out there and get on the fairway or the green the risk is, is that you end up in the rough or the sand all right that was hole number. <laughs> that was hole number ten. 
of the uh, Silver State Tournament in the opening round of the Rookie Division. Thanks for watching.